Hi, welcome to another tutorial on Glory. Today I'm going to show you how to use layered. So this is the follow-up tutorial of the previous one. If you haven't seen the previous one, go back again and watch it. So as usual, I have my, my sample spreadsheet right here. So if, before you start any application with Glory, you need to definitely have a spreadsheet. But the only thing you need to have, first of all, is the user's table. That's the, only, that's the first thing you need to have. You can just go to the user's table and bam, you have something to, you know, to open your app with. You have something to work with. But we don't have a user's table. We're going to use the staff table as a user's table. Why? Because we have name and email. That's the only thing we need for majority of our, of our Glide application. So let's go to, go to Glide, see, click on the, click on a new project. Just, I just call it layout. Layout and styles. Play app. Continue. Click on continue. So I'm going to choose my table. Click on select. So as you can see from the very beginning, Glide has, Glide has, you know, looked through my data and has seen what's there, you know, has just brought up some very, very some very important information for my data. So this is my data right here. This is my data right here. You can see it has name, title, number, email, photo, location, and the rest. And then if I come back here, Glad has brought up majority of the information for me. And so first thing first, let's go to our settings. Go to our settings and say privacy. Say we want it to be public with email. Yeah, just like that. That's all you have to do there. You can change the way your appearance look like by choosing another style if you want to. And we can then, you can also, you know, choose a different accent color entirely to give beauty to our application. That's something that you want to look at all the time. And then let's go to click on the hamburger icon as usual. Click on this and select a sheet for your user table. So it's a staff as a sheet for our user table. That's, that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do, then say save. So we can view as, as, a, as a different staff entirely. So if I view as this staff, if I go to my, my table, so you see it's right here. The image of the person is right here. The name and the email is just right here. Glide has several layouts, several layouts itself. This is a, this is a list layout and that's the default. The list layout, you can really customize a whole lot of things. It's just a single layout that when you click it, it moves into another screen showing the details of that. It shows showing the details of that particular table. So Glide, Glide is not, this, this, these are the only type of layout you can have on your application except you're customizing it with CSS. So Glide allows you to add external CSS, internal CSS, sorry, Glide allows you to add internal CSS to your application, but we'll, talk, we'll be talking about that a whole lot later. As you can see, if you look at my table right here, you would see Glide is just drawing data from my table and, you know, sh displaying it over here. So these are the data on my table, like the first few, few, few rows, name, uh, uh, position, name, and photo. If you go back here, you would see the first few rows are name, title, and photo. So Glide, just believe these are the names, these are the information you want to display. So if you click on the list item, you would see name, you would see the title, and you would see the photo. You can easily click here and change it. You can change it to location. You see it changes immediately. You can easily click here and say, and say this, this is the information I want you to, this is the information I want you to display. So whatever info you click here, that's what Glide itself will display and if you scroll down you can easily set out how you want your glide layout to, to to be and for the action you can tell what do i want when people click on this the default is that it goes to a detail screen that's the default but you can tell what you want your your default to be if you click on the list item if you click on the list item and go to the action screen if i click here you will see configure action they will be talking a whole lot more about this later. So you can really choose what action you want your screen, what action you want to be the default when your user click on the application. 
So that is that. Then if we scroll down, we can tell our item size. Right here is regular, but if we click on this, just watch closely the changes. So you see the way it is. It's a bit really, really compact, and it can take a whole lot more rows. If we click on this, you can see the number of rows you can take is reduced. But if we click on compact, the number of rows you can take, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. And also we can configure the see more, see more button. So I don't, I don't think this is what you like to do. If we click on the see more button, watch what happens. It shows only three. And the user will have to click on see all to be able to see everything you have on that screen. So I'm not sure if it's what you want to do since we're just displaying uh, a list of, a list on my table. And so that's it for the list layout. There's not so many things you can do. It just, displays a list of rows on your sheet. Same thing, you can see, same thing with location, it displays a list of rows on my sheet. And there's another thing you can do with list layout, you can also add a favorite, you can add a favorite tab on your list layout. So if I click right here, right here, <coughs> you can tell all my staff and the one I favorite it. You can see there's no item here on display, nothing here. Why? Because there's no favorite button. If there was a favorite button, then I'll be, if there was a favorite button, then I'll be able to click here and say, hey, these are my favorite stuff, and these are all the stuff. Let's explore other type of layout. So, this is the tile layout. Just watch it. Tile is, is similar to the list layout, displays a whole lot, but it displays a whole lot of information. But here, it just gives you more room to do a whole lot of things, more customization option than the list layout. If you click on the edit list right here, you can see you have several options. You can configure the shape of the tile. You know, this is the tile. You can configure the shape of the tile. So the, the default is three by one. That's the default. But you can easily say, hey, I don't want that default. I want it to be a circle. So you can see it's going to be a circle. You could say, I want it to be a square, three by two. It's going to be a larger square. You could increase it and say, I want it to be a four by three. It's going to be a larger square still. And also you can tell the number of ties you want to have per row. The, the, the minimum is one and the maximum is four. But you can increase it with some tricks later. You can increase it with some, with some tricks if you know how to do it. So you can increase it and say, hey, I want the, I want the tie here to be, to be two. You can increase it. I want it to be three. And then you can increase it. I want it to be four. So four, a bit ugly because I want it to be Let's just take it back to two. So you can see, you can see that our tiles right here, it's a lot, it's a lot, and it's very, very beautiful. And also you can choose the orientation. In the default, it's vertical. You can change it and say, hey, I want it to be horizontal. When you choose horizontal, you are able to slide. You're able to screw this way. You're just able to screw this way. So it's some sort of like, maybe like a Tinder, Tinder type of application. And so you're just able to scroll like this. And, but the default, it's the, the vertical tile. That's the default. And so for your corners, you can see, the, you can see the edgy is brown. You can turn the edge to sharp. So it becomes all square automatically. But I like my edges to be round. Crop behavior of center. Can show your faces so it shows the face especially if it's an image it kind of try to show the faces of those persons you're looking at so i like it to be centered a lot of time you can see the changes if i click on it you can see the changes you just want to focus on the face of the person on the on the on the on the, on the uh the image they the, the, just want to show the object in the image so i turn it to a vertical once again and you can see my position below if you go to position test style below, or you can say overlay. Overlay, the test is going to be inside the image. You can see that's the overlay. It's going to be inside the image. And alignment, do you want it to be center? This is a new feature. Do you want it to be top right? Do you want it to be lower right? Left right? See, so look at it. You can try different types of alignment if you want to for your overlay. You can try different types of alignment. The default is center, but that doesn't mean you should leave it center and so you can see the button you can see some buttons tags avatar caption this is something that you might want to play with for the button the default button that you can add is just favorite that's the default button you can add favorite so if we click on the favorite tab you can see you have we have the favorite tab 
on the on top of the image but this is not something you want to do all the time it really depends on the type of application you're creating so if we click on the favorite tab just if we favorite anyone it goes to the frame it creates a new role on your spreadsheet see let's go you create a user specific role on your spreadsheet so you can see you can see you have a new tab this was automatically added by glide so we keep, keep, keep clicking on it keep clicking on it you would see it populates our favorite you see so you see it populates this part of our table that just shows us this is our favorite tab it just populates it immediately so that's what that does for our tag how are you going to tag every every image how are you going to tag every staff you can easily select a sheet on your you can easily select a, a column a column from your sheet and say that's how i'm going to tag it maybe you want to tag by manager so you can see it shows just you know put some some tiny nice tweet uh, uh, twist to your to your display and so people are able to you know really really understand what you what your app is all about but this time we're just going to leave it like so and just rest so that's it for the that's it for the list and the ties layout let's other videos we're going to check out the other type of layout and see what we can do out of it thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you want to sign up for glide there's a link at the bottom of it and also you can check out all that video so you'll be good at using glide thank you so much for watching or see you in the next episode